plaid. This is all plaid? Yeah. Not all plaid, but plaid accents. Yeah. Some woodsy, mountainous, <laughs> earthy, yeah. rugged, beards, trees, mountains, axes, yeah. stuff like that. I think I was a little bit more excited than he was when the, the opportunity arose. But uh, I think deep down, he's, he's gonna be really, really thrilled about that because he likes the, the sort of offbeat stuff like that. So knowing your brother best, if you had to incorporate anything on that custom, what would it be? You know, there has to be representation from you know, the, the good old state of New Hampshire. You know, whether there's a nod to maple syrup to you know, granite, a granite texture. Our state symbol, the old man of the mountain, may he rest in peace. But on top of that, you know, it is gonna be, he's gonna wear them, he's supposed to wear them on, a, on, on the Christmas day game. So, so definitely tying in, you know, the holidays as a theme would be, would be amazing too. All right, so what have you done behind the scenes to kind of get this project rolling? Obviously you hit me up saying that Jake was interested in, you know, designing a custom shoe. And at first, you know, I was like, kind of like, all right, you know, Who's this Jake guy? Then I looked up, you know, some of his work, and it's pretty insane. Like he's done shoes for LeBron and Danny Green and all these type of people. And he told me that that Matt is his favorite NBA player, which is you know kind of kind of funny. And uh, and for him to to be interested in you know taking the time to make a custom shoe, a custom Adidas shoe for Matt, is a uh, you know it's a really really cool opportunity. After seeing his stuff, I think Matt was you know a little more comfortable with the idea in a. Uh, and uh, you know, it'll, it'll be fun on that, that, Christmas, that Christmas day, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> and lastly, what kind of shoe do you think would be best for this, this custom? I'm not even sure what, uh, what shoe he's gonna be wearing for uh, the bulk of the season. He typically, you know, in his career pass, right. he, he finds one he likes and he kind of sticks with it. And uh, he wore the Crazy Eights to start last night. the season last night. I actually think that would be like a, a great shoe to do something like this with. We discussed doing like an ugly sweater, Griswold family vacation, kind of, just kind of a hodgepodge, I guess, of a Christmas shoe. So we did some photoshops and uh, obviously Christmas plaid, we definitely wanted to get on there. We wanted to try to get some corduroy on there, but I didn't want to change any materials or anything, seeing that it was going to be a game worn shoe. Um, and out of the photoshops that we did, this is the least uh, I guess the most conservative of all of them. The only thing left on this is to put his number on the back, um, highlight all the Adidas logos on the toe, side, and heel, and hit the punch. That's it. Adidas originally had a strap that would start here and come around here and wrap around the back and be stitched in there and the same thing here. I'm going to go underneath there. I wanted to free up this area to put his number there the strap really didn't serve any purpose other than having a, another loop for the lace to go in. So I bought a hole punch and I'm just going to end up punching a hole right there. So what do you think his reaction is going to be tonight when he sees these? There's no way he's not going to laugh. <laughs> he's going to look at it. I think he's initially going to think, man, this is goofy. But then he's going to be like, you know what, it's Christmas. It's a uh, Christmas spirit and you know, it gives him an opportunity for him and Adidas and the NBA to just have a little bit of fun. Well, I'm just gonna finish this up. We got the compressor on, paint mixed. Basically just gonna black out the inside uh, and heat cure it. So we'll just get this. This is just edging it up a little bit. What was the most difficult part in creating this shoe for, for Matt? Um, lining up plaid, mixing colors for plaid. I've never done plaid. And it's one of those things you can't really think much about. You just got to attack it and just do it and just work out the issues as they go along. Relaxing, not worrying about the issues, you know, that come at hand and just knowing that you can fix them. Take time, just think about it and then execute. But yeah, figuring out plaid was tough. I think we're good out here. The rest, everything else can be done by hand. 
I'm gonna take this all out right now and kind of get a better look at the shoe. We also have 15, his number, but that's actually on the street signs that they have there in New Hampshire. This is actually the street sign in New Hampshire with a little face on the side. That's the old man of the mountain. 603 is the area code. You know what, he expressed big interest in, in putting that mountain man on there. He really wanted that. Really? <laughs> so that's good. Awesome. So this was the Photoshop here. That's the original one that we went with, you know? So we went with that and then Matt liked that one because it was more conservative. And I liked this one and convinced Luke and Luke was like, yeah, do it, just go for it, you know, let's do it. And I was like, yeah, I was stoked because like I got the go ahead. That one we didn't really like. They ended up being the one that we went with minus the gold hits here. That's basically what we're left with. And this is the one that, see it looks kind of cool, but can you see Matt doing that or that? See, we'll just say this is a sample. <laughs> so now you can see, see the differences here. And that not just one was done. I bet a lot of people are gonna say, oh, you should have given that one to him. That one was better. That one looks scary for Matt. That looks scary for him to wear. <laughs> this one has one shoe in it. Because basically I did the plaid on both and then I started on that one with the green just on that one side. Then I realized I didn't like it, so I pulled another one from here. What's up? You back home? What's that? You back home? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm just putting my finishing touches on. Just painting the logos white right now. How are the shoes, how are the shoes looking closer? They look really good. They look, I think they're gonna turn some heads. Can you again paint those? Yeah, this entire shoe was painted by hand. I mean, the base coat was airbrushed. The entire inside was done in black. Yep. But other than that, uh, yeah, everything's hand painted. So tell us, what did Matt say about the uh, the photoshops? He said he likes the, uh, like the plaid slash final print. Right. He said those are a little bit outlandish. I'm probably going to be really self-conscious wearing that if I wear those. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> so, George, you bring those over to him tonight? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give them to him after the game. All done, Luke. That's nice. That is awesome. It's pretty cool that it all came together. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going to convince me to wear them. Yeah. All right, we'll talk to you all later. All right, see ya. All right. Well, dang, man, you did a heck of a job. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Now we got to see what Bonner thinks about him. Yeah. The Adidas Crazy 8 Christmas Day custom for Matt Bonner. Yep. Let's go see his response. It's like yeah, Publisher's it Clearinghouse. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, like Pimp, uh, pimp, pimp My Ride, where Christmas you see the day. reaction. Yeah, Christmas Day. So, so I gotta like... Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. This, this goes with my wardrobe quite nicely. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry everybody. This is an exclusive over here. That is sick. Yeah. So sick. Area code. Yeah. Love it. You see the mountain man? Yeah. Old man of the mountain. Yeah. It's definitely a custom job for me. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you uh, incorporated all my style points for sure. Yeah. That's sweet. So they say you saw the photoshops. Is that what you expected? No, this is way better. Than, yeah. Way better live than what I saw in the picture. So oh, these are awesome. Yep. Well, it's a shame I only get to wear them once. I guess I could save them for next Christmas. But I'd, I'd rock these with corduroys and a flannel, so who knows. Ooh, they're swaggy right there. Are you designed these? Well, my I didn't specifically design them, but I gave the ideas that I wanted incorporated. Are you wearing these on Christmas? Yeah. These are fire. I do like these 603. Conquer? New Hampshire. Oh, dude. Oh. Yeah. That is sick. Oh, man. Maddie? 603, baby. Represent. <laughs>